So today I'm going to talk to you on 10 things for us to remember and 10 promises to draw down more power from above. So God's promises come in two levels. One level is uh, the promise that is written in scripture in your Bible right now. But there is also another side. God's promises comes as an applied promise for our daily experience. Now what does that mean? When you read scripture, all of a sudden the Holy Spirit will take out a word and put it on your face and say this is for you right now for your situation. So in order to hold on to that promise that God is giving you, you and I need to have faith. For us to have faith, apart from Jesus Christ, the best person to learn about faith is Father Abraham, the father of faith. So today I'm going to talk to you about how Abraham put the word of God into action and how the word became a reality. So Genesis chapter 22. You know, Genesis chapter 22 is an event of the Old Testament. That is, Abraham taking his son Isaac to the mountain to sacrifice. So Genesis chapter 22 verse 1 goes like this. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. When God wants to give you an encounter with him, it usually involves a test. So in Genesis chapter 12, God calls Abraham and says, Abraham, I'm going to bring a nation through you. So that's a promise of God. But in Genesis chapter 22, God tells Abraham, kill the promise. It doesn't make any sense, isn't it? But I want to tell you this. When God wants to give you a divine encounter, it will usually involve a test. It will also involve something that does not make any sense. So how come Abraham had such faith? You know, Abraham knew one thing. He remembered when he was 100 years old and when his wife was 90 years old, they gave birth to Isaac. So Abraham knew one thing about God, that he can bring life out of a 100 year old man and a 90 year old woman. Today, if you are someone who is going through a trial right now, the good news is God is giving you 10 things to remember. So the first remembering, remember that Jesus came into this world for me. So today you need to convert to that mindset. Jesus came into this world for me. So Jesus says it beautifully, you know, in scripture, Jesus says, you will possess what you believe. So if you believe that your life will be like this forever, miserable, you will possess what you believe. If you believe that your sickness will be there permanently till you hit the grave, you will possess what you believe. But if you believe what the word of the Lord is saying, that Jesus came into this world for you so that you could have life to the fullest, then you will possess what you believe. And that is how, my dear brothers and sisters, you draw down more power from above. You believe it, you proclaim it, and when you believe it in your heart, it will become a reality in your life. So the Bible verse to hold on to this promise is John 3.16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him will not die but have eternal life. So remembrance number two. Remember, Jesus revealed God as Father to me. Now you can believe the evidence of the world. The world will tell, hey, you are all alone. You need to figure it out yourself. No one cares for you. If you don't figure it out, no one else is going to figure it out for you. But you can also choose to believe that I have a caring father in heaven. And because of that, I walk in faith today. So there is a Bible verse for that, John 6, 57. So this John 6, 57 is where Jesus does the will of the father. The father filled him with his love. So Jesus got up every day in the morning and he climbed the mountain to connect with the Father. Why did he connect with the Father? The Father gave him power from on high and he was enabled with all that power and he unleashed the power into the people's lives and the people saw God through Jesus. So my dear brothers and sisters, today the Lord is reminding you also, you and I need to connect to the Father every single day in order to receive power from above, in order to live life to the fullest. Remembrance number three, Jesus revealed the love of the Father to me. So this is a Bible verse, in John 5, 19. I tell you the truth, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his Father doing. Because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. When you are filled with the love of the Father, four things happen to you. 
Number one, your sins will be forgiven. The next one, it exercises demons. So the fourth thing that the Father's love reveals is feeding the hungry. Remembrance number four. Remember, Jesus reveals another way to live. Not my will, but yours be done. So the promise for that is uh, John 4.34. My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Remembrance number five. Jesus died on the cross in obedience to the Father to give me a sure hope. God the Father loved Jesus and he told Jesus, Jesus, I love you so much. I have a purpose for you and in that purpose, I want to love the world. But to do that, you need to carry a cross. And today the Lord is telling you also, I have a purpose and a plan for you and in that plan, I want to bless the world and bless you. What is this cross that you and I need to carry? So the cross is to come out of your comfort zone, to come out of your uh, advantage and do what God is telling you to do. Remembrance number six, Jesus rose from the dead and proved that his way is perfect. Now, not only did God bless the world through Jesus, but God blessed Jesus, the resurrected life. And today for you also, it is the same. If you say yes to the Father, not only will the world be blessed, but you also will be blessed. And you will receive a reward like no other. Remembrance number seven. Remember that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God for you. When you remember God is at the right hand for you in heaven and as you believe it, you see a shift happening in your life. Remembrance number eight. Remember that Jesus and the Father are talking about me in heaven. So every day when you wake up in the morning, you should remember this, that Jesus and the Father are having a chat. They're having a chat, they're talking about what needs to happen in your life. Remembrance number nine. Remember that He is coming back to live in me by the power of the Holy Spirit. So there's a scripture verse for that, John 14, 16. Jesus tells His disciples, wait for me, I will ask the Father to send you a counsellor who will live with you forever. Now you can look at your situation, you can look at your life and think, okay, this life, my life is going to be like this forever. Or you can decide to invite the counsellor into your life. And the last remembering for today, remember that you are not alone. The kingdom of God is within you. So Luke 17, 21 is that promise. Jesus says that the kingdom of God is within you. And therefore, when the kingdom of God is within you, all your inner needs will be met. And when your inner needs are met, Jesus gives his heart to you. And when Jesus gives his heart to you, what happens? You have a heart for everyone. And that is when, my dear brothers and sisters, you are called to ministry. And what is ministry? Ministry is, Jesus says, do unto them what I did unto you. Praise the Lord.